good morning everybody it is just after 11 a.m sunday january 16th i am just now downloading all of the vlog footage for last week i'm going to try to get that edited today before lunch um today is my dad's birthday happy birthday dad he is 83 years old today so anyway yeah um all of my medical symptoms for the most part seem to have gone with the way of the protein bar i was eating so Yay, that was a little bit scary, but we got it taken care of. I'm gonna see if I can, what I can do about editing the vlog, so I'm not like giving you guys TMI. But anyway, but also being real about health issues, like we need to like just acknowledge when our body's not feeling well, as we get older especially. So anyway, <sighs> yeah. I don't know that we're doing anything a particular day, hanging out around the house. It's just, yeah, I don't think so. I have a physical therapy appointment in the morning tomorrow but bob has and bob has the day off um we don't have anything again in particular to do but there's always chores to be done so we'll see all right i'll be back vlog is edited and loading as we speak um put the headphones away the posts for facebook um, art groups are um scheduled out and the video, the vlog is loading. It's loading, it's edited, it's like all the things. Um, it's just about lunchtime, so probably gonna stop and do that. I did get a couple of these, what are these, house ornament kits. Um, Home Depot was giving them away around Christmas time. I never did put them together, so I think this next week I will be doing that. I will be filming the gnome video. I left some of the gnome stuff out. I'm gonna go pick a couple more colors of fabric and put the embroidery floss away that I've already used for the ones I made last night. Um, oh, random gnome noses because I did spill the jar this morning. <laughs> I did. Um, these are, I've been using an eight millimeter wooden bead, which works fine. It's a little bit small, but it's what I could find. I did find this morning a one centimeter or 10 millimeter wool felt ball that actually might work better. Um, and if I like it and I want a little bigger one, they have a one and a half mil, uh, centimeter one. So anyway, so, and I'm, I like the idea of a wood, a wool ball. Um, so anyway, we'll see. So those are the things I'm going to work on this next week, I think. Oh, I also have to print out some inspiration images for my downstairs drawing journal and, um, the mood board for the RT Trio video. Cause I want to try to get that filmed, filmed this week too. So always stuff to keep me busy and maybe out of trouble. All right, hey everybody. I'll be back. It is Monday morning, January 17th, 8.09 a.m. I'm running late already. It just started the day and I'm already running late. Lunch. Okay, so I have physical therapy this morning. Bob is off today. We're gonna go, I think, over to the mall today, um, but we both need new clothes. Things are threadbare. In my case, things are too big. Um, yeah, so anyway, we need to go do that today. Um, but I have therapy first. I intended to wake up a lot earlier than I did, and so I can have my coffee and everything before I went. Yeah, none of that happened. I barely had enough time to shower and put clothes on. I do have a cup of coffee in the car here to go, and yeah, I'll have some more when we get back, and a little bit of breakfast, and yeah. Hit so many things I wanted to do today before I got in the car, but anyway, such as it is. Anyway, so happy Monday. <laughs> we'll go to physical therapy and I'll be back. This started as a conversation between me and my husband about how a lot of my clothes were too big. Literally, I was walking from the bedroom to the coffee pot the other morning and my pajama pants fell off. Like, I did take them in, but that just led to a cascade of other things and so many of my clothes were too big. And then he said, after thinking about it, I've got some stuff that's threadbare or that I'm not gonna wear anymore. He used to wear a lot before we moved, but our lifestyle is just different. Anyway, a little small closet clear, clear out led to, yeah. There are a few things in those bags I think we need to go shopping today to try to replace, um, but 
That's crazy. All right, I'll be back. Well, he's chasing after the local raccoon. He likes to walk across our front yard and yeah. set off the cameras, but we go out there. I don't know where he goes. He's very quick. Oh, he's already gone. Yeah, he's already gone. So earlier I said that we had cleaned closets out and we got rid of a lot of clothes. I showed you guys some video. We do donated them all to a local charity and we went shopping to the mall to pick up a few things that we were missing now and um, got that done. Stuff all over the place. There were some things they didn't have. Supply chain, hello broken supply chain. So we came back home and um, I ordered some things that I, I need because I had to get rid of the old ones. They were too big or I have some that I've kept to, I have to have something to wear. Anyway, um, either they didn't have them at the shops or they, they were so expensive. And um, I was able to get them directly from manufacturers. Okay, fun fact, I like Hanes leggings. I've always, I've worn Hanes for a long time. They make a good quality legging if you like stretchy pants. They make the basic colors, black, gray, um, all that stuff. And they last. And so cheaper to get them directly from Hanes than to try to find them anywhere at the shops and pajama bottoms. Why are pajama bottoms not a thing? I am not gonna spend $36 on one pair of pajama bottoms from Vera Wang, I mean, I do like Simply Vera by Vera Wang. Don't get me wrong, I love her pajamas. They're very comfortable, they last, but $36 just for the pants. Really? No thanks. Anyway, I'm gonna turn my computer off. Yeah, it's still on. And I need to do today's drawings. Bob's gotta bring the garbage can in, all that stuff. So anyway, happy Monday. It's such a crazy morning between chats and filming a quick video for the patrons and my dad is here i have to take him to the airport tomorrow morning like at oh dark 30 like seriously we're getting up at 4 30 in the morning yeah anyway it's been a busy morning i did get the gnome tutorial video filmed and loaded for the patrons and supporters on their private channel and the pattern is over in patreon for them too so if you'd like access to that, become a patron. It's pretty inexpensive. I try to download stuff monthly for you guys. I'm always available for chats, help, advice, all the time and all of that stuff. We do as many sort of live art and coffee kind of Zoom things as we can um, or Facebook chat thing. Anyway, you know what I mean. So anyway, think about joining. But I got that done just in time for my dad to show up. I got it edited, filmed, edited, and loading, and then he drove up. So good timing on my part. Um, my health situation, lower GI situation from last week's vlog. You need to watch that. I'm not going to explain all of it again. Um, seems to have resolved itself. I cut out the food in question and no more problem. So yay. All right. But today is just catching up on stuff like that. Tomorrow is a lot of stuff in the morning and then maybe napping later. I have physical therapy at 8.30, but I think I'm gonna obviously going to come home between airport runs and doing that to have coffee, wake up. I should probably shower after we do the airport run, all that stuff. And then I have to film an artsy trio video either tomorrow or the next day and something else that I can't remember. <laughs> Anyway, there's other stuff I need to do, so I'm gonna try to get it all done by Friday. We'll see. Good morning, everybody. It is a little dark out this morning. Sorry about the lighting. It is 8 a.m. straight up. I have been up since oh dark 30, literally. We, we my dad and I, got up at 4.30 this morning, got dressed, had some coffee really quick, and then I took him to the airport. He is flying to Southern California to spend some time with my brother again. Yes, yes, I know. Against my better judgment. But he's fully vaccinated and all that stuff. I think I said that already. Anyway, he will have a hopefully safe but good time. Anyway, so I did that. Came home, had some more coffee, and had breakfast. Finally took a shower. And we're headed to physical therapy this morning. Uh, 
last week's vlog. Just went live like one minute ago. It's now 8.01. So we'll see how you all respond to that. And I'm getting messages from our friend and cleaning lady, Letty. She helps us a great deal. And so I have to respond to that in a minute. And there's a lot of stuff that needs doing, always. So anyway. Okay, it's like 2.30 or something. I got um, the Artsy Trio video filmed. I actually didn't think I was gonna get that done today, but it just wouldn't leave me alone. So it's filmed and in the can, so to speak. I'll edit it tomorrow. I also at Christmas time picked up two free little house ornament kits from Home Depot. There was a little house ornament slash frame thing and I never did put them together. Of course, it's past Christmas now, but I got two of them and I put them together and I painted them and put in our family photo with my dad, all of us wearing ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna give one to each of the kids if, if they want it. And um, so those are downstairs. I'll put a picture here and um, just real simple stuff. And I had the little tiny Christmas trees in my stash of things and I was able to use them up, so yay. And not necessarily anything I need to go about replacing or anything. If I see something on clearance, I might pick it up, but uh, you know, when am I gonna get to the store? <laughs> so anyway, mail's here. I'm waiting on some more vanilla beans and wool, wool, be wool ball beads things from Amazon today. And yeah, it's, it's all good. I'll good be morning, back. everybody. It is Thursday, Jan not February, January. What day is it? 20th? Yeah. January 20th, 8.47 a.m. I'm just now booting up the computer. Had kind of a nice quiet morning where I haven't had to get up early to go anywhere, be anywhere, do appointments, take people to the airport, like anything. It is the start of the new year, so that's kind of a rarity usually for us. First couple months of the new year seem to be filled always with, you know, your annual doctor's appointments and um, errands and obligations. And like, there just usually is a lot. And um, sorry, I'm getting a message from my daughter, which I will reply to in a minute. Anyway, so it's just a lot. So when I have these kind of quiet mornings where I don't have to be up early, go anywhere, like I really do cherish them. So today's a quiet day at home. I'm gonna get some art done. I'm gonna answer her question. And um, yeah, play with my poppet. I'll be I back. I have vlogged since this morning, but it's been a pr pretty productive day. He just asked me right before I turned the camera on, how was your day, dear? Um, I got my video from yesterday edited and loaded and scheduled. I got another one filmed, which means I got some artwork done for that video and I got it edited and loaded and scheduled. So it's been a pretty good day. Got a few things put away, normal chores done, all of that stuff. And now we are headed out for our pre-dinner walk, and, which we haven't done in a couple of days. So, and I know it's dark, sorry about the lighting. Good morning, um, everybody. It is. Friday morning, January 21st, I think. Oh Lord, hold on. 21st of January, it is 9, 10 a.m. And I'm headed out real quick to the grocery store because there is a couple of things we've run out of and it's family dinner night tonight. So God forbid the kids and Bob should not have their Doritos. Yeah, that's the pre-dinner snack, Doritos and cocktails. I don't partake in either, <laughs> but they must have their Doritos so and their cocktails. So anyway, occasionally I'll get myself some cheese and wheat thins, and then I have usually water. I know, I'm boring. I know, I'm a water. <laughs> but I, I did a lot of drinking when I was younger. I don't need to partake now. Anyway, so we're going to go run out.
some gnome stuff cut out there for five more gnomes. I got some stuff printed on that pile to catch up on mission inspiration because I never finished 2021. So that's on my project list of things to do soon in the next couple of days. Um, otherwise things are pretty clear and clean up here. I've had lunch down the dishes, all the normal chores. So I think I'm going to go check the mail. I'm debating going for a little walk. We'll see. I'll it is back. Saturday, January 22nd, just before 3 p.m. I haven't vlogged yet today just because we ended up, instead of doing nothing today, <laughs> we ended up running some errands and um, we're working on a puzzle called, I think it's called the 1980s or the 80s. Anyway, I'll put a picture here. It's really hard. The kids got it for me for Christmas. They know I love puzzling, but oh my God, it's been on the table for two weeks. Now. Uh, one week. It seems like two weeks. Anyway, we're still trying to get it done. Um, we got all our errands done. We're having to go to at least two different grocery stores right now to not only find everything, but not pay huge gigantic amount of money about money for anything everything like prices are just crazy anyway it's the creek we are puppy sitting lily for a couple hours polly's has got a car club meeting and then he's coming over after and i think he's going to stay for dinner he and bob are going to watch football i'm going to sit and sketch which you know what sounds like a great idea to me we've been two weeks um, without any lower GI issues, the occasional spot of blood, but it's because I'm rubbing myself raw and forgetting to put my cream on and not because anything else, so it's all good. Anyway, I know, TMI. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. It's a beautiful, partly cloudy, but blue day, blue sunny day in the high 40s. It's just great out. I'm in my short sleeves and I'm not freezing. It's great. Anyway, it's nice to just take a day and breathe, isn't it? Especially as things in the world get crazier and crazier. And I don't know about you, but anxiety ratchets up and up and up and up and up. The health scares don't help at all. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside and probably get started on that sketching. I'll be back. <laughs> You know, he doesn't like to be on camera. But anyway, we just finished this puzzle. It's called the 1980s. Son-in-law over there bought it because he knows I like to puzzle. But holy cow, this one was hard. How long did it take? A whole week? Uh, Two weeks? A week and a half. That, yeah. Anyway, we're going to show you the puzzle. Um, Bob doesn't want to be on camera, but he will probably talk. We, some of these people, we know who they are. Some we have no idea. Wait, wait. wait. Start again. Tiananmen Square. We got um, something on CNN. I think we have the space shuttle. That's probably when the Challenger exploded, right? No, the Challenger's down the bottom. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Live Aid. Okay. Um, let's see. That is some sort of... Oh, that's that's He-Man, I think. He-Man, I do think so, yep. yeah. This one here. Well, that's, that's a gal who died... Um, in the space shuttle. Okay. This one. Was that Kevin Bacon? Kevin in, Bacon, in, yes. Uh, what's what's that movie? Um, Footloose. Footloose. That, I'm not sure. That's Challengers. Is that or is that Olympics? I think that's a challenge. Is that the Olympics? Oh, maybe that's Might the, the um, you're right. Olympic it's the, um, maybe it's the Olympic hockey team. Yeah. Arnold and James. Yep. Madonna, Risky Business, Back to the Future, Back to the Future, USA um, Track and Field. Yeah, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. What's it? What's e. his name? Boy George. Boy George, that's it. Max Headroom. Yep. This one. Um, Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. Uh, let's see. Does that have to do with Live Aid for yeah, helping uh, uh, food, giving food, to, getting food to Africa? Maybe. Anyway, they're busy being otherwise occupied by football, but I'm going to show you a close-up of the puzzle, and if there's anybody that you can help us remember who they are, we remember a lot of them, but not all of them.
I'll be back. Hang on. Maverick, that's uh, was it um, Fast with Top Gun? Got Ayatollah. Yep. What's his name? That's uh, Tom Selleck. Yeah. That's uh, Magnum PI. That's it, Magnum PI. The Cosby Show, I think. Yep. Uh, Trump. Uh, Joe Montana. Yeah. Um, this one is Family Ties. I think so. Yeah. Is Girls Just Want to Have Fun? What's her name? Cindy, Cindy Lauper. Cheers. Um, Who done it? That's um, Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Uh, Rubik's Cube, PC. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, that's one of the ones we don't know who that's supposed to be. I'm not sure who that is. The Frogger. Her hands are tied together too, so I don't know who that's supposed to be. Maybe um, one of the. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, is this an Atari? That's an Atari. An old Atari. Yep. I used to have one of those. Jeez. I used to have one of those. Eddie Murphy. Yep. Pete Rose. Uh, Indiana Jones. Ghostbusters. Yep. Boycott the Olympics. The Catch. The Olympics. Chernobyl. That was a family. Now, that was another one of the... Um, uh, that, in no, not in no, Living Color. No, that um, was... That was one of the sitcoms. It was where, where the, all the girls were at private school. Yes. Everybody, what was the name of that? Like our brains like cried. Don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It's the tip um, of my tongue. I have no yeah, idea. That's probably, there's Boy George. Yeah. That's, I don't know. And it has both an, a PC, but also a an Mac, Apple. An, a Mac. Who, re, who remembers those? I want to know too. which of you remembers those. Oh, do you remember uh, Pee Wee Herman? Pee Wee Herman. You're right. Down for yep. areas right, yep, right there. Yeah, Arnold. Yep. It was a pretty cool puzzle, but well, holy cow, it's hard. Anyway, that's it for this week. We are going to cook some dinner here in a little bit, I think, and just sit and relax. The boys are watching football. I hope you all have had a great week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.